And now here again is Rabbi Karen Kadar. Karen, your wonderful message, give away your anger. You make a point to say that forgiveness doesn't mean uh, to excuse or condone. Uh, and yet that's what many people don't hear. I think t the understanding that to forgive and forget is where we need to go is what blocks us most from that act of forgiveness. There are things that people do that are unforgivable in the classic sense. But if you think of forgiving as a kindness towards yourself and giving away anger, not condoning the other person's behavior, but getting past that and not letting their ill deed have control over your life, then I think that you can reach some kind of peace inside. Karen, you were the first woman rabbi in the history of Jerusalem, where you lived for 10 years and worked hard to develop reform congregations and communities there. From your experience, how would you think that forgiveness, reconciliation, biblical principles we've talked about, would impact the clash of rights between Jews and Palestinians there? The conflict in Israel is a very difficult conflict, and I think that we see in this country over the past year and, and several months that you need a partner in order to come to peace. Forgiveness is to allow the person on the other side to also go through a path in which they can find forgiveness and reconciliation. And I do believe that all of the Israelis, all of the mothers on both sides of the conflict would like to find their way to that path, and yet somehow it seems to be darkened at the moment, and we're looking for the hope. We know that Jesus uh, forgave the world when he was in his deepest pain. How can pain move us into forgiveness instead of bitterness? I think that's a beautiful question. The difference between somebody who is overcome by their circumstance is not their circumstance. The difference between someone who is overcome and someone who is not overcome is that inside of them they say, you're not going to get me. This pain is going to be used in order for me to find blessing and not in order for me to be destroyed. And that inner voice, which I believe is the voice of God, can bolster us on a path that can bring us back to love. Is it harder to forgive than be forgiven? Oh, I think that's why in part of my message I talked about self-love. We have to find the capacity not only to love others, but to love ourselves. All of us were created in the divine image, including myself and you. And we need to see that spark in our own lives as well as in the lives of others. Thank you for giving us that spark. Important subject of forgiveness. Thank, Thank you, you, Karen. Thank you.